Hello dear students, this is 10th class new math test book, chapter number 1, real numbers. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 3 and question number 4 of exercise 1.1 and this is the part 2 video of exercise 1.1. Here is the chapter real numbers and this is exercise 1.1. Let us look at question number 3. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying prime factorization method. I shall repeat, find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying prime factorization method. Here, there are different ways to find LCM and HCF, out of which we know already division method, you learn across the division method in 6th class and 7th class. Now, let us use prime factorization method to find LCM and HCF. Here is the first bit, 12, 15 and 21. Second bit 17, 23, and 29, and third bit 8, 9, and 25. Now let us solve or let us find the LCM and HCF of 12, 15, and 21. In order to find out the LCM and HCF, first of all, let us divide these given numbers into prime factors. Consider the first number 12, you can write 12 as 2 into 6. Again, 6 can be divided into 2 into 3. Therefore, in total, this 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3, 2 into 2 into 3. Next number is 15. You can write 15 as 3 into 5, 3 fives are 15, both 3 and 5 are prime numbers. Similarly, 21. You can write 21 as 3 into 7, both are prime numbers. Okay, we divided 12 into prime factors, 15 into prime factors and 21 into prime factors. Later, let us find LCM, least common multiple. So, LCM is equal to, in order to find out the LCM, we have to consider all the factors, all the prime factors of all the three given numbers. If there is any common factor, write it only once. If there are different factors are there, write them as it is. Here, 2 into 2 is there, but we cannot find 2 in the remaining numbers. Even though you cannot find 2 in the remaining numbers, you can write 2 into 2. Next, 3 is common for both all the 3 numbers, write 3 only once. Next, 5 is different, write it. And 7 is different, write it. It means in order to find LCM, you have to list out all the different factors, all the different prime factors. And then among the prime factors, write them to their highest exponent. Here, 2 in 2 times, therefore write 2 2 times, like that. 2 into 2 is 4, 4 3 is 12, 12 5 is 60, 67 is 420. Therefore, LCM of 12, 15 and 21 is 420. Next, HCF. HCF means highest common factor. You can observe these three prime factorization. Among these three, pick up the number which is common for all the three. The factor which is common for all the three is 3. Therefore, HCF is 3. Okay. LCM is 420 and HCF of the given numbers is 3. The chapter real numbers, exercise 1.1 and this is the third question. We have to find LCM and HCF of the following numbers using prime factorization. And let us solve second bit now. 17, 23 and 29. 17, 23 and 29 are the three different numbers. Here already 17 is a prime factor, is a prime number. Therefore, you can write 17 as 1 into 17. Of course, you need not write 17 as 1 into 17. You can write 17 as 17 itself. And 23, you can write 23 as 1 into 23. And 29, 29 is 1 into 29. Like this, we divided 17, 23 into tw and 29 into factors actually. Here, 1 is not a prime number. Please keep in mind, 1 is not a prime number. Then why you take 1? In order to pick up the common factor for all the three, in order to find out HCF, therefore we took one here. Actually, one is not a prime number. Two is the least prime number. Okay. As already 17, 23, or 29 are prime numbers, there are only two factors for each number. One is 1 and 17 for 23 factors, 1 and 23, and for 29 factors, 1 and 29. Now, LCM. LCM means you have to pick up all the factors, all the prime factors, 17, 23 and 29 and multiply them, you will get 11,339. 
and HCF, what is common factor among the three, the common factor is 1, therefore HCF is 1. Please keep in mind, the HCF of any set of prime numbers is always 1. Similarly, the HCF of any set of co-primes is always 1. Okay. Now, let us solve third bit now. Question number 3. Question number 3, third bit. Third bit is 8, 9 and 25. 8, 9 and 25. Now, let us prime factorize 8. You can write 8 as 2 into 4. Again, 4 is not a prime number. You can divide 4 into prime factors again 2 into 2. Therefore, 8 is 2 into 2 into 2. Next number is 9. You can write 9 as 3 into 3. Next is 25. You can write 25 as 5 into 5. Okay, we divided all the three numbers into prime factor. And next, LCM. LCM means 3, 2 cube, 3 square and 5 square. Therefore, the LCM is 2 cube into 3 square into 5 square. 2 into 2 into 2 is 8, 3 3 is 9, 8 9 is 72, into 25 is 1800. LCM of 8, 9 and 25 is 1800. Now, HCF. What is common? You cannot find any common factor. Of course, 1 is there, therefore 1 is a common factor, therefore HCF of these numbers is 1. You can observe that 8 is not a prime number, 9 is not a prime number and 25 is also not a prime number. Even though they are not prime numbers, but there is no common factor except 1, there is no common factor for these 3 numbers. Such numbers are called co-prime numbers. Okay? Therefore, HCF of co-primes is always 1 and the LCM is the product of the numbers. LCM of any co-prime numbers is their product and HCF of any co-prime numbers is always 1. Good. Now, let us solve another question from the same chapter. That is question number 4. You see this. Question number 4. Given that HCF of 306 and 657 is 9, then find the LCM of both the numbers. Here, we are given two numbers 306 and 657 and the HCF of both the numbers is 9 and we are asked to find the value of LCM. Now, in the question it is given that, what is given in the question? It is given that the numbers are 306 and 657 are the given numbers and the HCF of these three numbers is 9 and we have to find LCM. LCM is equal to how much? Given numbers 306 and 657, HCF is 9 and LCM is how much? Now, in order to find this, we have the relation between LCM, HCF and the numbers. What is the relation? LCM into HCF is equal to product of the numbers. We do not know LCM, write it as it is. HCF is 9 is equal to product of the numbers 306 into 657. Dear students, is it clear now? Do you get an idea about this formula? As LCM into HCF is equal to product of the numbers. LCM into HCF is 9 is equal to product of the numbers means 306 into 657. Good. Now, LCM. Here, 9 is multiplying this LCM. Other side should divide. 9 in 306. You can cancel 9 in 306. 34 times. 34 into 657. And whose LCM is 22,338. Therefore, LCM of these three numbers is 22,338. But of course, even though it is not given, HCF is not given, you can find LCM also as you know both the numbers. Of course, in this question, HCF is given of the two numbers. Even though HCF is not given, as you know both the numbers, you can directly find LCM also. Okay, anyhow, the LCM of the given numbers is 22,338. 38. Is it clear, dear students? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, one and all.